the land where Chief Poetan and his tribe lived was a land of mountains and lush valleys. It was here that the chief's daughter, Pocahontas, played as a child. But young Pocahontas could not have guessed that she would soon find herself torn between love for her people and the desire to keep peace. We've secured the shoreline, Captain Smith, and I have a scouting party out in the woods. Very good, Mr. Barlow. We'll camp here for the night. Yes, sir. Set up a heavy guard in case we have any uninvited visitors. You think the Indians know we're here, sir? Well, if they don't, they will soon enough, and we'll have to deal with them. I imagine they're not going to like us invading their land like this. Invading, sir? I was under the impression this land is being claimed by Great Britain. It is, Mr. Barlow. That's why we've named the settlement after King James. Nonetheless, the Indians were here long before us. How do you think we'd react if they landed on British soil? I'll have the men keep a sharp eye, sir. See that you do, Mr. Barlow. Mr. Barlow, look there! You there, girl! Stay where you are! Mr. Parlow, you may be good with the men, but you've got some learning to do when it comes to talking to girls. <laughs> yes, sir. One thing's for certain. The Indians know we're here now. There were many, many of them, Father, and they had the fire sticks. It begins again, poor Hutton. Your daughter is lucky to be alive. These pale faces who saw you, did they try to hurt you? No. I, I don't know. I, I ran so fast. Well, I, I think I heard them laughing. One day in our land, and already they laugh at the daughter of our chief. They could not have known Pocahontas is a chief's daughter. Do you defend the pale faces? No, but neither do I say they are bad, yet. They could have run after Pocahontas, but they did not. <laughs> No doubt, because they were more worried about hunting our game. Can it be that Powhatan has forgotten the last time the Pale Faces came? I forget nothing. Then I say we go to the shore and send them swimming to their ships so they can go back to the land they came from. Yeah. Yeah. And I say Tonkana is not yet chief of the tribe. My son speaks with the fire of one who is young. Forgive him, Pohatan. I ask if your memory of the first coming of the Pale Faces is as mine. Will we wait until they kill all our game, take all our furs, steal all our food? I remember. But if a dog bites your hand, do you kill every dog? We will watch them and see what they are made of before we act. So, Father? Do not be afraid, Pocahontas. But what if Tawanaka is right? What if the Pale Faces do take all our food? We would starve. What will happen this time? 
I cannot say. But it was as he said the last time, wasn't it, Father? Yes. You and Tawanaka were both in the land of rocky cliffs when the first pale faces came, yet you do not hate them as he does. Why does he hate them so? Because the pale faces killed his mother and father. No, Father! It is true. And now Tawanaka will grab at any chance to make war on the pale faces. On any pale faces. In so doing, he hopes he can avenge the loss of his parents. It is a pain he will carry with him all his days, and the reason why he speaks as he does. I hope we don't get scolded for not bringing back enough berries. If the women of the tribe shout at us too loudly, I'll have my father send them running for their homes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it must be nice to be the chief's daughter. Sometimes. Other times I think he's especially hard on me just because I am the chief's daughter. <laughs> Uh-oh! I think Nabori the Pale Face has found us. Come on, let's see if we can beat him back to the village. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never catch us, you big belly bear! <laughs> you can't run fast enough to escape this pale face! of you. And now? And now, you can explain what you're doing. I'm waiting for an answer, Nabori. Or should I say, big-bellied bear? I... I... We were just playing, Father. Yes, we were playing the pale-face game. There is a time for playing and a time for doing what one is supposed to be doing. I see no baskets filled with berries. I... We're sorry, Father. And your playing has probably scared off every deer in the woods. The tribe's newest brave has much to learn. Return to the village and go with Tonkana and Running Deer to look at the Pale Faces' homes. You... You want me to go with Tonkana? Yes, yes, go! <coughs> and wipe that powder off your face. It's no game you play this time. <laughs> and now, what were you doing before that big-bellied bear attacked you? Uh, picking berries, Father. We'll be back with baskets full of berries. Yes, lots of baskets. It is a strange house they built, Tonkana. It is no house, Nobori. My father has spoken of this thing called a fort. It is to protect the Pale Faces. Protect them from what? From us. Tonkana, look! Each day there is less and less to hunt. We should have attacked them when they first stepped onto our shores. But Powhatan said... Powhatan is like an old dog with no teeth. He has no bite. He is our chief. Maybe the time has come for us to have a new chief. A chief with the courage of a wolf. Our supplies are getting dangerously low, Captain Smith. And game's getting scarce. If we'd had time to plant crops, things might be different. As it stands, the Indians will have grain stores. We'll offer to trade with them for enough to get us through the winter. And if they refuse? There's no reason to think they will, Mr. Barlow. We've been here for months, and they've done nothing worse than watch us. Put together a squad of men. We march to the Indian's village on the morrow. Yes, sir. 
Already there are few deer in the woods. The cold comes quickly. Our hunting grounds cannot feed two peoples. We have grain enough to last through the cold. We need more than grain to chew on. We are not all old women, Powhatan. Oh, that is right. You cannot expect the pale faces not to hunt, to sit by while they go hungry and die. Why do you care about them? Because my vision is not so poor as yours. These men sailed across the endless lake in their great canoes. They shoot lightning to kill their game. Can we do this? No. There are many things they can teach us, but we cannot learn from them if they starve. Then you will not drive them off? Not so long as they have not hurt us. I hope you are right. Tell me what I should do, O oh Great Spirit. I do not want war, and yet I cannot let my people starve. The war you fear so may be coming, Father. I hear words spoken in our village. Words which no one will dare speak near your ears. What words, my daughter? Many agree with Tonkana that the Pale Faces must be driven from our land. Men with hungry bellies will speak words of anger. What will you do, Father? I will do what the Great Spirit commands. He will send me a sign. My turn, my turn. Okay, you be the medicine man. All right, Pocahontas, what is it you'd really like? Well, oh mighty medicine man, <laughs> I would like to know which brave that I will marry someday. Hmm, let's see. He must be tall and brave. Ah, huh, I see him here, here in the water. Closer, see, right here. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, oh wise medicine man. <laughs> Come on, let's fill these jugs before we get into trouble again. Oh, I can never remember a time of cold this soon, Pocahontas. Or a time with so little food. My mother says things will get worse before they get better. Do you hear? There! They have fire sticks. Run to the village, Niwa. Tell my father. But what about you? I'll stay here to slow them down. But go! Easy. It's just a girl. The same girl we saw the day we landed, I think. I think it's time we introduce ourselves, don't you, Barlow? But just in case, guard our flanks while I make the proper introduction. Hello, my name is John Smith. I'm the leader of these men. What is your name? Pocahontas. I've never seen a pale face this close before. <laughs> I guess that makes us even. I've never seen an Indian this close before. <laughs> you are the girl I saw on the hillside when first we landed, aren't you? It was me. But you ran away. I was frightened of you then. We don't see a lot of pale faces around here, and when we do... Well? Tell me, do I have any reason to be frightened of you? No, no you don't. Men, lower your weapons. I am not frightened, John Smith. This is what happens because we let the pale faces stay. Powhatan's own daughter is in their hands. If Pocahontas has been hurt, the land will turn red with the blood of the pale face. Had you listened to me, there would be no need of promises. Silence! To the forest! Miwa was right. They have fire sticks. Their fire sticks cannot hurt us if they are not alive to shoot them. No, Tonkana. 
Pocahontas might be with them. I do not hear her. She is with them. They must be beating her. Attack! Boy, tell us more about the game your people play, kicking a ball around. Sounds like something I'd be good at. <laughs> <laughs> you kick a ball around, yeah, right. <laughs> You've got enough trouble pulling your pants on in the morning, mate. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter has the courage of any brave in our tribe. Captain, it's a trap. Steady, men. Hold your fire. I won't have it said that an Englishman started a war in this new world. It's my father. They mean us no harm, father. Then tell them to free you. They do not hold me prisoner. If you attack, it is against men who have done you no harm. Lower your weapons. They are few and we are many. We can strike now. Pocahontas has spoken the truth. These men have done us no harm. Lower your weapons. Now! Looks like we've made an important friend. So, we meet. We come as friends. You come with fire sticks. Would you travel through the forest where there were bears without your tomahawk? There are few bears left after all the hunting you have done. This is not the place to talk. You will come to our village. That would be good. Neighbors should meet each other. So now a girl speaks for our tribe. I've never tasted a meal as good as this, Powhatan. That's because I've never prepared a meal for you before this night, Captain John Smith. <laughs> <laughs> you are blessed to have a daughter who is both a good cook and beautiful. And you are blessed with a tongue that knows the right words to speak, John Smith. I do not believe you pale faces have come to speak only of Pocahontas' beauty. You are right, Tonkana. We have come to talk of trade with Powhatan's tribe. We have many things you can use, blankets, tools, and what is it you want from us? Food. We need grain to make it through the winter. Having taken our game, now they want what we have left. There is some truth in Tonkana's words. Because we both hunt, there is little left for either of us. What grain we have, we need for our own people. As Captain Smith said, we have things to trade and- We cannot eat blankets and tools. Hold your tongue, Indian. We offer to trade with you. But remember, we can take what we want. That's enough, Mr. Barlow. Yes, there has been enough talk. You will sleep in our village tonight. Perhaps in the morning, we will talk again. Pocahontas, you will leave us. I have much to talk about with my braves. Yes, Father. Sitting in Chief Powhatan's longhouse, surrounded by his braves, was not the time to make threats, Mr. Barlow. It's just as well they learn now who's in charge. Remember that this is their land. Post two men outside. We'll leave at dawn. Yes, sir. Tell us what happened, Tankana. I will tell you, but not here. Gather the braves loyal to me. Bring them to the rabbit gully. The time has come for us to act on our own. The Pale Faces threatened to take our grain. Powhatan's answer was to tell them to go to sleep. So we can fall upon them during the night? No. Powhatan says we will talk to them again in the morning. Talk? Yes, running deer. If we listen to Powhatan, we will end up going to the Pale Faces, begging to get back our own food. What can we do? Get your tomahawks, your bow and arrows, your knives. We will see to it the Pale Faces do not leave our village alive. Please, I must speak with Captain Smith. Why? There's no time. You're all in danger. Now, attack! <laughs> Get the men! I'll get them. We have to stop them.
Hold your arrows! Nobody! Ah! Nabori! I gave no order to fire! Retreat! What have we done? Now you will pay! Tonkana! What is the meaning of this? You would not stop the Pale Faces, so we will do it. The Pale Faces did not strike against us. You struck against them. They would take our food and leave us to starve. And you would take up your tomahawks and kill them? You have disgraced yourself. But, Father, you yourself said we should attack the Pale Faces. It is one thing to disagree with your chief, another to disobey him. You will leave the tribe. Take the braves who fought with you. You will live in the wilderness, never to know the warmth of our longhouses again. Better to live bravely in the wilderness than cower with frightened rabbits in a longhouse. Tawanaka, my old friend. I wish this did not have to be. And I wish my son did not bring such shame to me. I will see to Nabori. Take the pale face. He will die for using his fire stick on Nabori. No, father! Captain Smith did not fire the shot! I have told you that I did not fire at Nabori, that I tried to stop the man who did. You are the chief of your tribe. You must take responsibility for what it does. You will die, John Smith. That is the decision of the council. That is my decision. No! He did not take Nabori's life. The fire stick only stung him. We will not free him to lead the Pale Faces back to kill us. My mind is with Tawanaka on this. Go, Pocahontas. Pocahontas, what's wrong? Father and the Council have decided John Smith will die. And there's nothing I can do to save him. But there is. He is a captive, and you can use the law of the tribe to claim him. Yes. Yes! That is the law! I'd forgotten! Oh, thank you, Niwa! I only hope I get there in time! Stop! You cannot do this! The Council has already spoken. By the law of our tribe, I claim John Smith for myself. You cannot claim this man! I can? That is the law. It is the law set down by your fathers and your father's fathers, and there's nothing you can say to change it. Law or no law, you know not what you do. I only know that I use this law to save the life of a man who does not deserve to die. <laughs> he is a pale face. The law says nothing about pale faces. I claim this man for myself. Whosoever would say I cannot do this goes against the sacred laws of our tribe. Now who will tell me I cannot do this? You do this against my wishes. But the law is the law. The man John Smith is yours. Should you try to leave our village, you will be killed. <laughs> the pale face is the biggest papoose I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait here, John Smith. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> At least let him talk to you, Father. You said he may have things he can teach us. I want to learn nothing from a man who has turned my daughter from me. Nothing in this world could turn me from you. You disobeyed me and... I know you are a pale face, but even in your land, it must be rude to enter a house without being invited. And even in your land, it must be rude to have a guest for two months and never show him friendship. You are an unwelcome guest and no friend of mine. 
Then maybe a gift will melt the coldness in Pohatan's heart. What is this thing? A compass. Its arrow tip always points north. Use it and you will never be lost. Not even in the deepest woods. Such a thing cannot be. Turn it in all directions and you will see I speak the truth. How can it know where the land of rocky cliffs is? It knows, Powhatan. And now you too know. This is a good thing. A powerful thing. I thank you for it. When the old world meets the new, everything must change. Old beliefs are rearranged, familiar ways seem strange. No one knows what's false or true when the old world meets the new. Did they come to take our land? Did they come to share? Didn't they want to understand? miles away, London City stands. The English king commands and issues all of his demands. This is the king we must obey, 5,000 miles away. Did they come to take our land? Did they come to share? Did they want to understand? Do they learn from the pale face way what they do and what they say for if we drive them away then an army may return so let us watch and let us burn did they come to take our land did they come to share didn't they want to And the village where the king and queen live is called London. How many braves are in this king's tribe? More than there are leaves on all the trees of your land in summer. If this is true, then we have much to fear. For one day those braves will come and take all we have. That is not true, Tawanaka. The English chief would be your friend. I would like to visit the English king's village someday. Perhaps you shall, Pocahontas. It is a good thing for a princess to visit a king. She would be made welcome, Pohatan. That is good, John Smith. For you are welcome here. Because of the pale faces, we have been driven out of our village into these mountains. <laughs> and yet we have survived because we are great hunters. While old Powhatan shivers in his longhouse, we have stocked new game and filled our bellies. But we must stop the pale faces before they come here, too. Tomorrow we will take care of the pale faces once and for all. We will burn their village and drive them from our land for all time. <laughs> You've a bad fever, Mr. Barlow, and I've not medicine left to help you. It's food we need, not medicine. Blast this early winter! At the rate we're going, many other men won't live to see spring! Heaven knows we could use Captain Smith's wisdom to lead us, but the men don't have the strength to battle the Indians to free him. Uh, Mr. Barlow, the men demand a vote about setting sail back to England. Setting sail? <coughs> Tell the men, as long as I'm in charge, there'll be no vote. This is the King's settlement, and we'll stay here. Well, I'll tell them, sir. But they're not going to like it. The Pale Faces have not left our village in many moons, Nabori. They fear our braves. It is not fear that makes them weak, Big Bear. It is hunger. 
Maybe the Pale Faces and our people are not so different after all. But Father, Nabori says the Pale Faces have not come out of their village in so long that they must be starving. Our people, too, are hungry. We have been hungry before, but there is a difference between being hungry and starving. You have always told me to have good vision, and that vision makes me know there is a world beyond our tribe, that our tribe is part of a larger tribe of all men. I worry you speak words that are not your own, that you speak the words of a bitter Tawanaka. Do not speak ill of Tawanaka. He is not a well man. Yet, well or not, Tawanaka is a wise man. We will tell him your words and listen to what he thinks. Then, I will make my decision whether or not to help the Pale Faces. Do you think you can help Tawanaka? Oh, his leg is very bad from the accident. I've fixed more than one injured leg in my life. Let's take a look at him. my old friend feeling. No better. Oh, oh. This stupid accident done by an old man to himself has made my leg useless forever. My life is over. Your leg is not useless, Tawanaka. It is just injured in a way you do not know how to cure. And you do? You are no medicine man, Paleface. Maybe not. But if you will let this Paleface put his hands on you, you may walk again. If there is magic in you, use it. Okay, I think I found the problem. There will be pain. I can bear it. Stand. I cannot. You can. Not bad for a pale face, huh? Your medicine is strong. One with medicine so strong cannot be all bad. Remember what you have said, Tawanaka, when I now ask for your advice. It is not much, but it is half of all we have. It will be welcomed by my men. Tell Mr. Barlow I said hello. You can tell him yourself, John Smith. You have taught us much. You are no enemy of mine. Return to your people and teach them that I am no enemy of theirs. I know I will not be glad to see you go, John Smith. I know my heart will be sad. You will never be gone from my heart, Pocahontas. You will always be my good friend. Easy, mate, easy! Even if we did sail, we'd never make it to England with the little food we've got. Better to try than stay here and starve. Bye, Bye, man, let's let's sail. Sail. Come up this settlement oh, come on. On. Besides, we can sail south and pick up food on the way. And what about those left behind? Them who want to come can. Them who stay behind, make their own path. Yes. Oh, John, yes. right. And you think London will be waiting for you with open arms? Yes. Tell him, John. Let's Tell all him. You be mutineers. They'll hang the lot of you. We'll take our chances. I say we put it to a vote. And I say I'll shoot the first man who tries to leave. There's only so much a man can take, Mr. Barlow. This land was ordered settled by the king. Any who leave go against the king, and I'm bound to stop them or die trying. You're in no condition to stop anyone, Mr. Barlow. Try me. Indians coming! To your post, men. Looks like none of us is going anywhere. Captain Smith's with them! Smith, what are you waiting for, man? Open the gate! Right, 
Store that food carefully, men. It's got to last us. It will, Captain. All the way back to England. Many of the men are for sailing home, Captain. With the food you brought, we can make the voyage now. My tribe has not given you food so you can run away, but so you can stay and be our friends. Have we received orders from the King recalling us? No, sir. Then we stay. Stay and die? Sure. You and your new Indian friends brought us some food. But you know it's not enough to last us all through the winter. These Indians are our friends. Now, we've got a job to do here, and we'll stay and do it. More Indians coming! This food's just a trick to get us to open the gates! I'm giving the orders around here. Yes, sir. Sorry, Captain Smith. Close the gate! Man the walls! Hold your fire until I give the order! <laughs> My father would not order his braves to attack. It's not your father I'm worried about, Pocahontas. It's Tonkana. They're bringing food. They've got meat. Bear and deer! Tonkana. Powhatan would not like it, but I have visited Tonkana often since he left our village. Nabori told me how you saved my father's leg. Thank you, Tonkana. But never have I seen so much food. This is only a small part of what my braves have brought to our village. We have not spent our time pounding the dirt with our fists. We have found new hunting grounds with much game in the mountains not far away. There is enough for all. Our people started as enemies, yet now we are friends. We were lucky, Pocahontas. We had something that held us together. And what was that? You. Because of the trust between Pocahontas and John Smith, Jamestown survived that first winter. But more importantly, the settlers and Indians forged a lasting friendship. Years later, Pocahontas got her wish and visited England, where she was honored by the queen and made a lady. But to the world, she will always be remembered as a princess, the princess of peace.
his tribe lived was a land of mountains and lush valleys. It was here that the chief's daughter, Pocahontas, played as a child.